everyone i am tamasri shanapati from west bengal india currently a graduate student at the department of chemistry biology and pharmacy in fra university berlin i am really very excited to share my journey of phd application and also the living in germany with all of you today firstly i would say that germany is a very good place for scientific research in various field which includes chemistry physics biology pharmaceutical research etc etc because they have many universities which have been recognized as a pioneer of the research and also they have lots of funding for that to address the phd application procedure i would start with the documents you need to prepare for your application and also the suitable time for it you should always apply one year before you want to start your phd program august or september is the ideal time for most of the european universities but there are few universities including graduate program for max planck institute starts their application in january or february as well so you should keep checking their websites very frequently now the three most important documents you need to have are curriculum vitae motivation letter or application letter and recommendation letters and i want to highlight few points for your motivation letter so you should write a brief description about you and also the previous research experiences and skills in the first paragraph then you can write your future scientific goals and of course the field of interest and one more point you should always mention that how did you develop such passion for that particular field you should make some changes for each motivation letter before you send to different universities or professors following their research field you should do a better homework before applying to any university or in concerned professors regarding their field of interest some research articles group members and so on i think these points are pretty enough to start with a motivation letter now i would like to say a few points regarding the cv your cv should not be very lengthy you should write down all the relevant points you want to put in your cv then organize them properly maintaining a proper format you can always take a help from the online websites like cv maker resume.io etc etc your professional and technical skill column should be really very interesting and of course if you have any awards or any publications in your msc that would anyway carry extra point for sure you should make a very impressive email to whomever professor it concerns you should always represent yourself as a confident potential and very motivated applicant in any email or in the interview i would say that you should be well prepared for any interview you have to be very logical confident smart and of course you should know how to deal with the real questions if you are confident enough to present yourself then i would say that it will not be very difficult for you at all along with the scientific questions you will be asked some other questions as well where you need really the presence of mind and your smartness and i think that is very important thing for any interview let me tell you very briefly about the salary structure here for the phd program if you are under any scholarship program then the salary range would be 1200 to 1700 approximately and i think it's pretty good enough for a phd candidate but of course there is another opportunity as well to get money for the phd program 
and in that case you will be hired as a job employee in the university so i belong to that category so i would like to emphasize on few points for that so for a job employee pays tax each month to the government so uh, they have some extra opportunities like pension money 1.5 year unemployment money after finishing the phd medical insurance etc etc i found it really impressive because the people who wants to stay longer in germany it would be very advantageous for them because if you are paying tax for 5 years then you can get permanent residency card immediately so yeah this was really interesting for me and now coming to the necessity of knowing german language i would say that you can take courses in germany when you are doing your phd but of course this is not mandatory because you can finish your phd thesis in english but if you want to stay longer in germany and look for a job then german language is very essential part so i would say that knowing german language will of course help you better so besides the phd life you can explore many more things in germany as we have very disciplined and well organized work environment you can really pursue your hobbies along with your phd very well so i would say that it is very professional but disciplined life we live here in germany and of course you can finish your phd in 4 years which is indeed very good for most of the people and one more thing i like very much about europe is the transport system they have it is really very smooth and well organized i was really very satisfied when i came here for my phd i think i have explained most of the things you need to know before you start applying for phd position so all the very best to all of you i hope you will get a very good position for phd and i would really like to thank shumon for giving me a wonderful opportunity to share my knowledge to all of you so thank you so much shumon and please do like comment and subscribe his channel